It sucks. And why is that? Well, because I'm using unshielded cables. None of these cables have shielding. Zero. Spider-Man. <laughs> Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Thursday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this one are CNC limit switches and my freaking problems, my mistakes that I made so far. So let's get it, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So check out this freaking mess, these cables are getting more and more, oh my god. I installed six limit switches, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and these are more 3D printed parts, just like the ones for the spindle, you can... Check out this vlog if you're interested. So these are the limit switches for the X axis. Then back here, let me show you the other limit switches. Same model right here for the Z axis. Okay, and down here we have a slightly different model right here, if you're able to see this. And this one will touch this area. This one will touch, well, the same area actually. These two will touch this area right here and then we also have two limit switches uh, down here i'm not too proud of them because they actually they will actually touch <laughs> the freaking rolls down here so the roll will actually activate this button well in theory and uh, back here is yet another one and by the way i stepped it up to 1600 micro steps and now it's yeah working properly moving a bit faster yeah, that's the other one right here, as I said, same thing. So let's move it back to zero and to demonstrate, well, they aren't plugged in and I will get to why in a second. Let me first of all demonstrate it. So these are the pins right here, taped together so that it's easier for me to remove them and plug them back in. So check this out, the screen is idle. Let's click this one for the X axis alarm, reset, unlock, the other one, Alarm, reset, unlock. Let's click this one, reset, unlock. Let's click this one down here, working as expected. Let's get this one, reset, unlock. And let's get the last one, reset, unlock. As you can see, it's wired up properly. All of them are working. I even went crazy. Balls to the walls for the X axis with a resistor and a capacitor. My limit switches are normally open. That's a bad thing because normally close would be better and for the X axis I tried this uh, the circuit right here and it completely blew out my brain seriously this was like I could not compute that I think I did it the right way but this is like yo this is crazy but anyways the other two are simply connected to the common ground and to the pins no fancy stuff going on and again now it's all wired up and now let's move this X axis and as you can see, immediately these freaking limit switches get triggered immediately whenever I move something. It sucks. It sucks. And why is that? Well, because I'm using unshielded cables. None of these cables have shielding. Zero. That means when these steppers start to turn and power gets transferred through these wires, they will create a magnetic field, something like that, and it will jump over to the other wires and the Arduino will think, hey, this button just got pressed, but it didn't. It's just electrical noise and I can't do anything about it at this very moment. I'm eager to use this CNC to do something, to try something, to mill something, but I'm simply not able to use the limit switches for now. I already ordered shielded cables, but it will take at least three to four to five weeks until they get here. So for now, no limit switches for me, no homing for me. If you're interested what homing is, let me demonstrate with uh, this printer. I will just initiate something to print and now watch closely what will happen. Let's do that again. First of all, watch the plate and then watch the extruder. Let's go. Damn, that was fast. Well, this thing has limit switches. You can hear them click 
One is right here, as you can see, and the other one is up here. Can you hear that? And what this thing is doing is homing itself. And homing is a very convenient and awesome feature because you can set a home point basically. And this point will be the same every time and it will go automatically, that's the best part about it. You just press homing, it will go against X limit, Y limit, Z limit and then, you know, do something. Go to the soft limit, something like that. And this will give you the same point to start every time. This just speeds up everything. Then you can also, you know, draw lines right here, mount your stuff that you want to mill in the same spot every time and you just know what will happen. But until then, until I exchange these unshielded cables with shielded cables, I need to set my home point manually, you know, jog around and then set the home. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just so sad that I'm stupid. Uh, well, I didn't know better, but I could have done a bit more research. But anyways, anyways, <sighs> it is a, it's a never ending story. Also, I had a very good training session today. Here are a few clips. I sticked that double front flip two times in a row. I wanted to go for three, but you know. Maybe next time. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! So nice! 10 out of 10, baby! But look at that! Oh, yes! Spider-Man! Yeah, now it's time to edit vlogs and <laughs> I'm considering to start Sage Mode again. Sage Mode, check it out right here. I'm so freaking unproductive and I don't have energy. <laughs> I need to acclimate to a better sleep cycle. I really did. I freaking kinda all over the place. Anyways, I'll get to that in another vlog. Sage mode considerations, sage mode restarted. I need to fix my sleep cycle. It is ridiculous. I just need to learn how to stop and go to bed at the same time every day. It's still my biggest problem. I think if I solve this problem, I think I, I would be way more productive. But anyways, let's stop the rambling because that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way electrical noise smashed my limit switches. Bang the bell like crap so that you never miss CNC updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.